Hello everybody, welcome back. Today is a sea of freaking rate. Everything is freaking collapsing. So uh, this was something that we actually mentioned last month, right? Uh, if you go to my Twitter account, uh, I actually didn't mention this a long, 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 long time ago, many, many, many weeks ago, uh, that there was going to be a collapse. December the 4th, 2021, right? I shared a video. I've never done this before. This is the first time ever that I'm actually sharing uh, a video from uh, my own private uh, Patreon community. If you have yet to join us, please consider uh, joining us because, yeah, uh, the boys and I are actually swimming. We're all swimming in money. So, <laughs> because we all, um, all of us, we opened shots and yeah, we're all swimming in money. So, hallelujah. Uh, this would be great. Um, yeah, a double digit. The lower we go, the better it is for us. Yeah, because we're all balls deep in shots. So, yep, my sentiment was actually, you know, I was already anticipating the possibility of uh, things collapsing and so it has begun i have also mentioned that um this year 2022 that there will be tapering right uh, the government is not going to print as much money and uh, uh they're going to be hide, hiking interest rates so not much uh borrowing uh, is going to happen and yeah it's going to um uh, yeah, the market's very likely it's going to be hawkish and so yeah it's playing out things are playing out right now and yeah we're all swimming in money because we are positioned nicely for it so if you have yet to um join us uh, yeah consider joining us in patreon you can find the link over here on my twitter skinny moon hunter t-e-r there's no e t-r yeah, because that's a character limit. Anyway, um, where are we? Let's get straight into it. Uh, let's get straight into um, Elgo. Right, we're going to be doing Elgo first all the way up to Avalanche at number 11. Right, 11 Avalanche, Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, Polygon, uh, Crypto.com coin, Chainlink, Cosmos, Algorand. Let's get straight into Algorand. So for Algorand against BDC, here we freaking are. Um... What's been happening? Yeah, against BTC, the alt pairs seem to be pretty strong. <laughs> oh, the alt pairs seem to be very strong. Uh, the re the reason being that um, I'm not really sure though. But uh, yeah, the alt pairs are actually looking pretty strong. So our target over here at eight thousand six hundred and eighty eight satoshis remain. At this point of time, it still remains because this doesn't feel bearish to me. <laughs> If if um Elgo BDC gets pulled all the way back down to the skinny pink line, right, and we see completion of mountain ranges, then yes, more likely than not, the direction is down. But if you see a push towards the upside, then this will be the completion of the inverse head and shoulders, and Algorand hits much higher against BTC. That's my take for Algorand. Uh, the Elgo BDC pair is still solid. I kid you not, things may be uh, collapsing against USD, but against BDC. They are still strong, especially for Elgo. Elgo against USDT, yeah, it's a different picture. Elgo against USDT has really uh, started coming back down, right? Uh, there was a mountain range over here. Very nice support. We uh, broke the support. We broke back up. And then now we are breaking back down the support. So it feels to me like, yeah, more likely than not, the direction is down. But uh, in terms of our tradability, this is not what I would consider as a tradable chart pattern, right? We are already uh, poking on the skinny pink line. Poke, 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 poke. Right, we've been poking, 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 poking. Normally, when you poke through the skinny pink line, you should be spending some time under the skinny pink line. But it got postponed. Poke, 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 postpone. Right, when you postpone uh, the moves, mm, I mean, staying under the skinny pink line, you will have to pay the price eventually. And so, yeah, the price will be a very long, drawn out, bearish season. Right, winter, very long, drawn out winter for Elgo against USDT. So. You gotta be able to comprehend the. Uh, uh, y y you're gonna see um, Elgo BDC being strong against. Uh, being strong, but Elgo USDT being weak. It's gonna look very strange uh, because it has never happened before, in my opinion. Uh, and so, yeah, but, but um, we are going to take on trades, you know, the boys and I in the Patreon community, yeah, we're going to be um, taking trades accordingly and yeah, just that for Elgo against USDT, no clear tradable chart patterns, so I'd be very, very careful about going to a trade too soon for Elgo run. 